So what's with all the hype about this figure? All the toy collectors are going crazy about this skeleton figure. Is it worth all the hype? Let's find out. Now, as you see, I already opened up the figure. I could not wait. Normally, I try to wait for a figure to open up on camera. But the cool thing about these Mythic Legions are they're, it's collector friendly. So you can actually open these and uh, put them back in the box if you want. I actually threw this out. I had to go back into the garbage and fish this out. I don't keep my boxes and stuff. I don't plan on reselling. Skeleton Builder on the side. And uh, this was a special in stock random drop to celebrate 10 years, 10 year anniversary of Mythic Legions in 2024. I'm a big Mythic Legions fan, but they're, the content, I just, this is more of like a personal brand that I collect. I don't really do re reviews of the figures. If you go back on my channel, I do have a bunch in the early, you know, my years ago, and I have a ton of dioramas where I did mythic legions style dioramas and a lot of stuff for there so if you if you're interested in more mythic legions content definitely go check that out but i just thought this figure i've been posting it on my instagram and everybody keeps asking me what is that figure what is that figure and he's like super hype so i thought you know what he might be a good figure to do a review of on camera on youtube and uh maybe we'll bring some more people into the let and you know into the cabal mythic legions cabal so I am really excited to have this. I mainly collect goblins, dwarves, and skeletons. Uh, and obviously, you know, I collect whatever other ones. And orcs, excuse me. I, I have a few orcs on my desk right now, actually. I got the, the orc female builder. And I got this red orc right here. Let's get right into it and show you guys the figure. And... So for articulation, these figures are not um, are as a t articulated as Marvel Legends, and, and that's what you'll kind of hear from people who are not in the know of the figures. They'll complain about, like, you know, update the articulation, we need more stuff. But what's the funnest thing about these figures are they are pop and swap. So you could heat up this figure, which you should always heat up your Mythic Legions and any other figure. I heat up even Marvel Legends. You could pop off their parts and you could, you know, like say this head right here. I got, speaking of, I got a skeleton right here. This guy's really awesome. But for some reason, he's not as hype. I think this figure is so damn cool. Um, this is a little earlier. This is a newer version, but... Uh, you could pop his head off, right? Pop it on. And no, the, the skeleton does not match. Usually the older ones do. But you could just pop on different parts, even the arms. You could swap someone who has armor arms. So for people who do not know, like that's a really fun aspect of Mythic Legions. And why I think it's just so fun to collect for me personally. Um, I just enjoy getting all the parts. I have a big bin uh, with parts and I'll just like sometimes sit here and just make my own guys. Uh, fantasy is just fun like that. So we have only a double, uh, only a single jointed elbow that really doesn't even get that high. No butter, uh, no butterfly joints, no bicep swivel, um, ab crunch, I guess if you, this, just this, you know, the legs go up a lot, but single jointed knees and they go back. You know, he could kick his, his own back. Um, he, he does have ankle rockers on the bottom. Decent range. You know, no thigh cut, no all that kind of stuff. So, you know, TikTok would be saying, you know, these figures, they don't have articulation. I can't do Spidey poses, you know. So, um, I, I've, I see that complaint a lot. Uh, he does have articulated jaw, which is just amazing. You could get a lot of expressive parts, uh, you know, pictures with that. And this figure, which it, a cool thing about Mythic Legions lately is they have been doing more uh, different style accessories like hands. We used to just have one set of hands. Lately, uh, we've been getting even multiple sets of hands. So we have this pointing figure. Was it, it, this is really funny. Um, which I had a picture on my Instagram. It got almost 3,000 views of me just having my skeleton and my knight pointing at a big mama's house. So that's what I, you know, that's what I use my platform for sometimes. Just 
you know, showing people Big Mama's House, the DVD at collector's edition. That's that, that's the type of stuff you could expect from me. Kind of gripping hands. And then we have a tighter gripping hand, but they're all pretty similar in my opinion. I don't, I, I really don't know some of the, like the differences. So these two almost are identical to me. So I, I, I don't, all of the hands don't really work at, at, perfectly, but I think maybe they're for other sets. Like you could use these hands for other you know, your other skeleton figures. For accessories, we have a long, uh, like kind of, what is this called, the spear, staff? He has an updated um, belt that, you know, that you could put these on the figure like that and the sword actually could go into the back of it. Uh, but these are updated because they used to just be plain and this has like a little design and it even has some silver buttons and buckles. So they are updating that. What you would want to do if you're going to be putting that on, you always just pop the head off. Let me see, what side does this go on? <clears throat> oh, let's see, I think it goes this way. So we, you, you would pop, yeah, here we go. You would pop the head off and you would just put it on like that and then you get your sword and you slide it through the back and it could hold it really cool. Look at that, love that. Uh, speaking of, he comes with a basic sword with a little bit of rust on the bottom, which is really nice because, you know, skeletons, they're dead. And then a shield with a nice rust on this as well. Really nice. Just a very minimal paint job, but very effective. Now, if you're watching this video, you kind of want to see how this figure scales with some other toy lines. Figure Arts Trunks. DC Multiverse Batman, Marvel Legends Daredevil, a Savage Crucible figure, a NECA figure, and a G.I. Joe figure. Now, I know if you're watching this video, you maybe like some mythic style stuff. And I found these random card packs at the flea market this morning for a dollar each. And I thought I would open them up because this video is the most... Uh, mythical style video that I will probably be doing on the channel. Uh, this is, I saw the guy opening these that he was selling them. These are all 80s fantasy art. And I, it's just so, oh, look, you ready? Let's take a look at it. So, um, oof, this is creepy looking. I just thought it would, I could add this into this video and some of you guys might like it. Now, these are weird ones for the beginning, but here we go. Here's like a tavern. And there's some guy is singing. Oof. These cards are interesting quality. Wow, let me see. 1993, damn. Uh, they used to make trading cards of everything. Here's Peter Pan, I guess. The guy that opened up the cards, he said they were way... They, they looked way more mythical. These are like... Uh, this guy's on a goat with a dagger. Here, we got a giant... That art, man, the hand-drawn art is just, it's just, you can never beat that now. Even with all the digital art, look at that. That's wild. I got one more pack. Let's just do it. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this and not skipping it. I just thought, you know what? When am I going to open up some other mythical stuff that I could? Oh, no, we got doubles out of two card packs. We got doubles. Damn. Uh, here is some fairies. We got this uh, it's looking like a, a Zeus style guy. Damn, these are, I thought they were all like mythical. And it seems like they're just, you know, there's some in there. Look at this. We got some of the Roman, Roman looking things. Oh, there's something behind here. Here we go. This guy's about to just, he's about to get this uh, poor guy playing the harp. He's probably just trying to relax. And, all right, wasted $2. Uh, oh, wait, one more card. Okay, definitely wasted $2. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> now, the bad news about this figure is it's going to run you $70 to $80. Oh, cool. 90 bucks. I could buy a mule. Well, it was a limited run, a little a limited drop. A lot of people did not pick it up for some reason. Same thing with this guy. This is, These are the two most hype and in-demand figures from mythic legions right now 
because this guy is just really fun and he transcends mythic legions it's just a cool skeleton warrior but then this is their most articulated knight to date now again i was telling you in the beginning everyone complains about articulation well they did this is the first figure with a neck hinge so now you can get this figure uh, in more poses and, and ways that you could never get the past knights. And the arm also has like a pretty, uh, you know, uh, good articulation. And he comes with lots of different hands. This is one of the most hype figures as well. If you guys actually are really interested in this figure, I could do a review of him as well. But I got so many asks about the skeleton, so I thought, you know what? Let me pop on a video for you guys. What do you guys think? Are you, are, do you collect Mythic Legions? Would you like me to do more ML content? You know, I don't see there's a lot of demand on YouTube. You know, the, the community is, I guess, not that big that YouTube videos do well. If anyone's going to ToyCon New Jersey or Legion Con, I am planning on going, uh, I don't know what days, but if you see me say hello, I am planning on getting out there. So let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. And if you would like $50 in Macari credit, stay tuned to the end of the video. I'll explain how you and I can get it if you just sign up using my code. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I need everybody go check out my Macari shop. I sell stuff on eBay, on Macari. And if you're a watcher of the channel, always DM me. I give you guys the best. Don't even look at the prices on there. You let me know. I'll give you the best deal I can get. If you want to get $50 in free credit for both of us, we both get it. Use my code. Uh, down below is the link. Go over there. You guys signing up is how I buy a lot of these figures. Use my code. We both get up to $50 in credit. And then I go and buy like this, this figure. I bought this guy on there. I bought this guy on there. I bought this guy. You guys get the, you guys get it. So you guys help support the channel. You don't have to do anything other than sign up. And uh, we both get some stuff on there. So it's great. My Macari link is down below. It's better than eBay. You get a lot of good deals on there. The toy community is thriving. So go check it out. And please, if you're going to sign up, use my link. Or else we both don't get credit and you're, it just stinks. That's, that's stinky.